Hope this video helped. Please check out the playlist, Evidence of Christianity, Evidence for the Bible, End Times, and the Book of Revelation. Leave links in the description for all four. Enjoy. So I'm going to be replacing my security system. It already has one installed, but I'm going to be replacing it with connected so that I can monitor it myself. And there's no monthly fee. And I can check the status of anything anywhere and I can get notifications whether or not I leave something open. So that's my goal. I'm going on a trip. So I want to get that done before I go on my trip. Let's get it installed. So I wanted to save some money and install my own security system that I monitor myself. And I bought this one from Connected. It's a 12 zone. I haven't figured out how to get my garage door to attach because the old system was using a wireless. But I'm going to get it figured out. Anyway, um, let's get this installed and I'll show you how I do it. Alright, so here's the old one that's coming out. I'm going to disconnect uh, each zone and label it so that I know what zone went where when I plug it into my new system. Now, this is actually a really nicely, neatly done panel. Some panels can get big and very messy, but this one is actually really, really well set up. So this is everything that came in the box, power supply, accessory kit, and then the two six uh, zone modules. It also came with some labels inside here, so I'm gonna go ahead and use those to label all my wires. Got them all labeled and disconnected. Took a while, I had to run back and forth from the main panel to here to see which uh, one I disconnected, but all done so let's uh go ahead and connect it up to the the new uh, interface board this is super awesome so this thing came with a tool it's a little screwdriver pin tool so it's got a pin on one end and a screwdriver tool on the other has a another bit set there anyway uh, it also came with the labels that i was able to use for the different zones so here's the board with the different zones that I'm going to be connecting to zone one and two share ground, three and four share ground, five and six share ground. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wire it up uh, the different zones to this. So when I say it shares the ground, I'll just basically connect uh, two zones. I'll put the black wire into for the two zones into the the G, and then the red wire will go into one and the other red wire will go into two and then so on with the other zones if that makes sense i got all the zones installed and as you can see it goes red then two blacks and then another red because i tied i had to tie the grounds the blacks together for two zones and then each side of the blacks is the uh, zones itself one thing you want to make sure you do not do is get any of the insulation pinched inside the connector when you're when you screw it down so you want to make sure you see a little bit of copper on the outside uh, to make sure that uh, your your wire is not uh, getting pinched onto the insulation because then it won't make a connection. Uh, you also want to give the wire a little tug, make sure that it's tight and not going to slip out. Now I want to install the buzzer. Uh, it did have a sticker over the top, I already took it off. So the, the panel that I'm installing it on, you'll need this uh, harness, but it has the two uh, wires that go into the screw terminals. And this plugs into the uh, terminal sticking out, the lead sticking out of the bottom of this. Alright, wires are on the buzzer. So here's the screw terminals for that. You'll see alarm and then a positive. So I'm going to put the black wire on the alarm uh, negative there. And then the positive wire, which is a white one, put right in the middle screw terminal there. Alright, the buzzer's wired in, so uh, let's test things out. Got it plugged in, and this is what it's doing. It's blinking the blue light. Uh, now let's go ahead and get it all set up. Please support my channel by leaving a super thanks below, or you can join Robinhood through a link that I'll leave in the description, and we'll both get a free stock. Or you can purchase this product through a link that I'll leave in the description for Amazon. I am an Amazon associate, so I do earn from any qualifying purchases when using my link. Continue watching. So I have an Android device, and I installed this connected app. So inside the app, I went ahead and created an account and I'm already signed in, even though it says sign in down there, I'm already signed in. So add new device. I, I guess a precise. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to this one. So I'm going to enter the password. And continue. Alright, now it's telling me to tap the button below and connect to the, to the, uh, yeah. Alright, there it is, the connected yada yada.
Connecting. That's fine. Trusted. All right, so it kicked me out and then it went back. So I'm gonna click on it again. Connect only this time. Go back. All right, we're back. All set. All right, we're gonna check mark that box when that blue light has stopped blinking and remains off. So I've waited at least five minutes and the blue light's still blinking. So let's go ahead and re-enter password. I actually typed in the password wrong, so now it should work. It's connected, now go back. Okay, yeah. Continue only this time. All right, now let's see how the uh, module's doing. Sure enough, the blue light's out now. All right, all set, so I'm gonna check mark this box and continue. If you have an older device with an out-of-date firmware version, you'll just get stuck here at this screen. You have to go ahead and run the firmware upgrade, and I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. Now I have to update the firmware on this one that I already have installed. I didn't know that the firmware was, was out of date until after I got it, everything uh, wired in. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the firmware. Just make sure you disconnect zone 6 before you go installing it. Got the firmware upgrade done on this panel. Now I can uh, reinstall the wire for zone 6. Alright, the blue light has stopped blinking and stayed off. Check mark. Continue. There it is. Woo, it's connected. Continue. So I clicked on register device. Now I'm going to register in connected cloud. Start now. All right, now I can assign the zones. Let's go ahead and uh, hit the plus. You can select what zone you want. Let's, let's see, zone one. And then what type of uh, sensor it is and then name it. So I'm going to go through and add all these and then we'll get back and try it. So I already got some devices added. I'll show you what uh, exactly that looks like. So four is the next one. It's a window. Downstairs window. Now you do have the option of making it inverse. I don't know yet if these sensors are inverse or not. Uh, anyway, I'm going to save this. All right, I got all my zones assigned. Now I'm gonna hit sync to device. Great. Do it again. Sync success, good. Okay. So it's rebooting. All right, it's been five to 10 seconds. I'm gonna retry now. All right, it's connected. So now I'm going to show you how I set up the home security monitoring system using the Samsung SmartThings app. Samsung SmartThings. And let's go to devices. And hit the plus. Okay, let's go down to my brand. I'm going down to connected. And right there is connected. Add. All right, there. It just had to exit that out. We've got all our sensors here. That's all six of them. So let's hit done. There. This one is a lot, a uh, lot nicer layout than the thing. I don't know why I put it in the living room. Let's go ahead and change the name of this. All right, there's our security system. So I just want to test the response time real quick. I'm going to open my front door. Yeah, front door open, that was pretty quick. 
So I want to play with the automation a little bit. And let's go ahead and uh, hit plus. Create routine. And then if what security mode continue. So security monitor for instructions. And then there it's got all the uh, use all open closed door sensors is check marked. I don't have the locks. I don't have all this other stuff connected. So next. Next. All right, so here are the push notifications. I can set up a text message to be sent. So I set myself up to get a text message. It says it's going to voicemail, but that's my own phone number. But anyway, uh, it's going to send me a text message if anything's triggered. So let's uh, hit done. Got to use the. Send it. All right, let's see if we figure out how to change the security mode. So, set up armed or stay. I don't know how or where to do that yet. Now that I got the security system somewhat set up, let's try something. I'm going to switch it to armed stay. And I got it set up to send me text messages. No. It's arm stay. Uh, now let's open the door and just see what happens. Nice. Intrusion. Back door. Nice. So there's all notifications. It says uh, back door intrusion detected. That sent me a text message also. That's cool. Armed it. Now I'll go and dismiss this intrusion. Sends me notifications. I can view the history, I'm assuming. Yeah, intrusion detected. Cool. I like this system. And uh, I'm sure Alexa can set it up, but it was a little too complicated for me. I couldn't quite figure it out. So here's a routine I like. Um, I got it to where I can get a text message when... I get uh, when I leave something open. So I'm going to do the front door now. Contact sensor. When it's open, set how long? 10 minutes. Done. So when it's been open for 10 minutes, then notify somebody, send text message. Front door is open. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my number. So there we go. Now I got it to where. Uh, once, uh, when a sensor has been left open for 10 minutes, it'll notify me by text message. So now I'm going to show you how to connect your devices to Alexa. I'm not going to show you how to do the routines because I can't really figure that part of it out the way that I want it. So you're going to have to figure that part out. But here's how you connect the devices. So I'm going to use the Alexa app to set this up. Go to devices. At the top right, you'll see a plus. Hit that. Go add device, go down to security system. You're not going to see the brand that you want in here. Go to other, and it's Wi Fi. And click on the smart home skills right there in number three. Now search for connected. There it is. There's connected. Enable to use. All right, now you need to log in to Connected. Sign in. Signing in. Yes, it's been linked. Let's see what happens now. Next. Six new devices. There we go. That's our six zones. There we go. The six devices found and connected. Next. 
There they are. There's all our zones. Start with front door, I guess. Can't select more than one. So now I'm going to go through and set these up. I don't exactly know what to do right now, so I'm just going to create a group called Security System. Continue. Continue. Okay, continue. Now I want to add the rest of those. So I'm going to add the upstairs to it. Only right now it's at the top here, so security system and the group. Continue. And we're going to keep that up. Adding the last one. Okay, they're all set up. So now when I scroll down, I should have a security system group. There they are. I want to get this Alexa security system part figured out. So Alexa devices. I'm going to go down to my group that I made, security system. Backdoor. Create a routine. Create a routine. I'm going to click on when this happens. Guard. All right, we'll set up sound detection because if she hears glass break or anything, we'll, when it's on guard and away mode, that she's watching that. So, yeah, we'll let her, we'll let her do that. Yeah. All right, so guard is set up and ready to use. It's done. I guess I'm just going to get back. All right, there we go. All right, there she is. So it's a home and away. Right, now I think we can actually use our sensors. Now that we got guard set up. All right, back to our devices with guard. I'm going to switch it to away. No, no, it says there's a backdoor intruder, so let's switch it back to home. I definitely like using the Smart Things app better. It uh, will show me all of my sensors and the status of them at the same time, and I can set up a rule to notify me if I leave one open for 10 minutes, then I can go close the whatever sensor's open if I accidentally leave something open. The Alexa one, I can't quite figure out how to interface the sensors to where it does something meaningful yet. That doesn't mean it's not able to, I just can't figure it out. I wanna connect everything to Google Home. And uh, the way I'm gonna do that is by connecting Google Home to my SmartThings app that has everything set up on it. So go Google Home. Get started. <laughs> okay. Oh no. So now I want to connect this to my Smart Things app that has everything set up already. So go to Devices, Add Device. Works with Google. And in the search part up here at the top. Smart things. There it is. Connect or click on it. Yeah, let's try this. Man, look at that. It brought in our sensors. And it shows them pretty good. So now we can play around with uh, Google Home. Let's go to routine, see what we got. Coming home, coming to work. Good morning, I'm home. So at this point, I'm gonna let you set up the routines. I'm going to stick with uh, Samsung Smart Things. That works best for me. So I bought the 12 zone conversion kit, so I got another board with six more zones on it. 
I'm going to see if I can hook up my garage door to it, which has a wireless sensor, but let's go look at it. I also had another 12 volt adapter. Um, since it's going to be a, in a completely different room, I won't be able to run it off the same plug-in. I, I got another one though. Let's go look. So there's my garage door sensor and then the wireless uh, transmitter. I have a feeling if I open up that wireless transmitter, there's going to be some uh, screw terminals I can just take the wires out of. Anyway, let's, let's check it out. Got it popped open and sure enough, there's your two screw terminals. I'll unscrew those, pull the wires out, and then put it into my connects. I'm going to run a wire from here though, all the way to the garage door opener because I can plug in my uh, connects card over there. So I'm going to get that done and see if it works. There's no positive or negative wire here. It's just probably going to a uh, contact that opens and closes whenever the sensor gets triggered. There it is. Now I just got to set up this device just like I did the first one and uh, test it out. All right, the blue light has stopped blinking. Let's go ahead and check mark and continue. All right, found it. Continue. There's all your device information. Now you have to go down to register this device. So register. Click on start now. There it's registered. Now we can uh, assign zones. All right, that's the only one we have connected. That's the only one we have connected, so sync it. Okay. Give it 10 seconds. Hit retry. It's connected again. All right, now we should have it on our... Uh, I got it, the Alexa automatically picked it up. Now I'm going to make sure that SmartThings does. So SmartThings did automatically see it. Now I just need to assign it to a room. I'm gonna put it in that security room. Move, security system, save. There we go, now it's in here. Now I can view everything. It says it's closed. I'm gonna try opening the garage door. Uh, manually, I don't want to. I got cables hanging over the top of it, so I'm just gonna lift it by hand just to disconnect it, see if it trips. Yeah, I definitely don't want to hit the garage door opener uh, with the setup I have now, so I'm gonna open it manually by hand, uh, just enough to get the get it to disconnect. Hopefully, this works. All right, moment of truth. It shows open, it worked. Fantastic. So I basically made my own wireless sensor. And don't worry, I will not leave it like this. I'm gonna run those wires up into the attic and then over to my garage door opener where I will have the power supply and the connected card over there and all zip tied up and looking pretty. Just in time to go on a trip all right, sensor wires are put up in the attic. Now I gotta go up to the attic. Got this old Radio Shack speaker wire, solid core, 24 gauge that I'm gonna be using for the sensor wires. I absolutely hate working in attics. Got this death trap of spikes for the nails. Gonna be running this all the way over there. Anyway, almost done. I hated every second of being up in the attic, but the wire is there. Got the other one going over there. And uh, time to butt connector those together. And then wire and zip tie all that stuff up. It's done and it's up there, it looks nice. Got everything wired up, so before I zip tie it, I wanna test it out. All right, here we go. And it worked. Awesome. I'm extremely happy. 
There it is. All finished. Zip tied work of art. Let's test it out one more time. Oh yeah. Still working. There we go. So just a recap on what app I decided to use and how to use it. I'm going with the smart things. It does everything that I want. I can view all of my sensors in one spot and see if they're open or closed. I can set up the sensors to tell me, set up this routines. That's what it is, to tell me if the uh, sensor's been open for 10 minutes or more so I can go close it if I've left something open. If you want to get to the alarm system, you can go over to life, scroll down, might be at the top, who knows where this is, but here's the uh, home monitor. I can arm the system while I'm away with this or this, and it will notify me if there's an intruder. Right there. And then I can also view the history of all my sensors and all my uh, intrusions. And if you want a complete history of all your sensors, you can go over to menu, go to history, there's all your sensor activity and uh, notifications for any alarm system intrusions. And I can view the history of all the sensors. So. It tells me what all has been going on. Go to history and then open, close, open, close. There we go. So, uh, yeah, this definitely does everything I need. And I'm very happy with it. I'm happy with Connected. I'm happy with the, the app that I'm using. So, I will show you how to get the sensors to go over to Alexa. And to also get your sensors to go over to uh, Google Home. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to set up any routines with that because I tried and it doesn't do what I want. I can't figure out how to get um, what I want out of the out of the sensors in those apps. But in, in smart things, it does everything I want. So I'm not actually sure what it takes to get that buzzer to work uh, as far as just doing it with the smart things app. Uh, whenever the alarm's tripped, it doesn't actually sound any alarm. I don't know if it's broke or if it's just... I think it has something to do with the setup. Like, you probably need something else, like a different app or maybe a panel. I don't know. But it uh, doesn't work with the way that I have it set up. I'm very happy with this product. I definitely recommend it to anybody that wants to install their own security system or to just be able to monitor their doors and windows from anywhere. Uh, and then you can do all that smart stuff with it with all these smart home things anyhow awesome product i love it i enjoyed installing it and uh, the tech support was amazing so i emailed tech support when i had the issue with the uh, firmware needing upgraded and they got back to me within the same day just maybe within an hour and it was even on a sunday so great tech support and uh yeah. So now I'm going to show you how to install a firmware upgrade if your device needs that. So I bought my kit back in 2020 and it's now 2023. Uh, I tried to connect it already and the app could not find this on the network. You'll just get stuck here at this screen. So I was told that it just needs a firmware upgrade. We're going to go ahead and run that now. So right here you got a micro USB port. So I got a micro USB cable to USB that I'm going to use uh, to plug it into my computer and then hopefully run the firmware upgrade that way. Alright, let's go ahead and connect it to the computer. Alright, it senses it. So I had emailed tech support and they sent me a link to this. I'll leave a link of this in the description if you need it. So you need to download the drivers for it. Sure. Go downloads. So I have Windows 11 on here. I'm going to download the Universal Windows driver. See if this works.
So it opens to this. This is actually a zip file, so you need to go back to downloads to the CP210X universal driver. And then take that and go ahead and unzip it somewhere. I'm just going to unzip it into my downloads folder. Extract. Yeah, that works. I have two of them because I downloaded it twice. Alright, so everything's extracted. Now we can go ahead and install it using the device manager. I'm going to go through it that way. So click on that, device manager. There you can see the CP2102N. Let's uh, update the driver. Update driver. Uh, we're going to browse my computer and browse. So I'm going to go down to downloads. Downloads. There's a CP universal stuff. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it says it installed the driver successfully, so we're good. Go ahead and close all this. Now we're back to this, and you want to make sure that Zone 6 is disconnected from the board. Uh, make sure it's plugged in for transfer. It's able to do data transfer, and, and since it went blah, blah, uh, when I plugged in the cable, then we know it is. Anyway, uh, now it says to click connect below, uh, and then let's see what it does. Okay, I think that's it. Connect. Serial port is not ready. Close any other applications using it. Okay. So I rebooted my computer. Let's see if that fixes a problem. Connect. Ah, good. All right. Whew. Install. Yes, install. Yay, it's done. I do not believe I need to do the logs in console. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And I think we're done. We can go ahead and set up the device. Now I have to update the firmware on this one that I already have installed. I didn't know that the firmware was, was out of date until after I got it, everything uh, wired in. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the firmware. Just make sure you disconnect zone 6 before you go installing it. Got the firmware upgrade done on this panel. Now I can uh, reinstall the wire for zone six. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And if you want to connect with me, I have a public group on MeWe called Share Your Trade. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Thanks for watching. <laughs>